just give it a try for me, all right? Cool, man. What's going on, everyone, and welcome to another Something Good Sunday. Before we get started, I want to talk about today's sponsor of that video, Mint Mobile. You know, they say the best experiences come from the most expensive experiences, and I say Mint to that. You know, they also say that you pay for what you get, and I say Mint to that. Now, I just got off the phone telling my friend about how I made the switch to Mint Mobile. And in this day and time, who doesn't want to save as much money in their pockets? So let's explain. So if you haven't heard of Mint Mobile or those crazy Ryan Reynolds ads that are out there right now for his service, let me explain. So on a phone service that gives you what you need and as much as you need when you need it, just costing at $15. You may ask and say, you know, unlimited talk, text, and data for $15. You know, how can they do that? And personally, I say, you know, that's a good question. I don't know. Maybe it's magic. Um, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's legit and it works. So with Mint Mobile, you can replace your current contract. You can use it on another phone. Or you can just use it as a separate line on the same phone. You can even carry over your number. Now, one of the cool things by me having those plans on this one phone is when one is down the other is up now i don't know if most people are going to use it that way but it definitely gets out of you having to carry two phones especially if you have a business line like for 15 dollars a month mint mobile has you covered and also for those people who have family plans they do have family plans as well and i'm gonna tell you if you have not heard of mint mobile and you want to give it a try just click on the link down below or check out this QR code right here. Scan this QR code with your phone right now and you can get three services, basically three months for $15 a piece. And then if you like the service, you can continue on the contract. They have multiple plans for you for those who may not need unlimited data, but for those who do need unlimited data, it is there. So give Mint Mobile a try. Check them out. Link down below, QR code right here. Let's get into this food. Alright, alright, alright. Welcome to another Something Good Sunday. And today is a special Something Good Sunday because we are doing a Chicago food tour. And pretty much basically going to give you a few stops that we hit in Chicago that we think are worth trying if you're ever visiting. So, first up on our stop is a all black owned business and hot dog shop. When you think of Chicago, you can't think of anything else first except for the pizza. But there are hot dogs and this particular restaurant takes a different spin on hot dogs and I really enjoyed not only the food but the service and the people that we met along the way. So our first stop took us to the hot dog box. It was nestled inside of a food court area which was really cool. Um, like I said before, the service was even great and they just have a unique twist on different types of hot dogs. Also, they just don't have regular hot dogs. Their hot dogs have some substance to them and they call them steak dogs. And it is 100% premium quality. Like they taste really good as they are nestled inside of these hot soft pretzel buns. And that is the seller right there, those pretzel buns. So of course, you know, nonetheless, I got the Chicago dog and I had one of the owner's favorites, which was the Bronzeville bourbon dog. And with these two steak dogs, we got two sides. We just got some fried pickles and some waffle fries. And both of them were pretty good. I mean, you can't go wrong with those. Uh, they did have some other side menu items, but we just was in a hurry. We had just got into town and it's the first thing that I grabbed to eat. Now, presentation on the Chicago dog and this Bronzeville dog were excellent. And they tasted even better man i wish y'all could experience it like these steak dogs are what it is like i wish i could find some get some packaged up and shipped here but my man down at the hot dog box you got it going on i'm actually gonna put his uh ig link right here <laughs> as you can see we demolished him um 
ended up eating the fries and getting some drinks somewhere else within that shopping center but it was a wonderful time and thanks again to the hot dog box Next up on our list is Giordano's. Now, this is supposed to be Chicago's best pizza. It is famous for their deep dish pizza. You know, not just your bread, sauce, cheese, toppings, but your double crust, cheese stuffed, topping stuffed, and then sauce on top. Gives a different, unique element to this style of pizza. And although it's a little expensive, it is definitely worth the experience of stopping here. So to start off, we ended up getting an appetizer of a Greek salad. And my wife got the Greek salad and it was good. The dressing that was on it was just enough for her. The, the slice of mozzarella cheese on top was good. So I ended up ordering one myself uh, just because I was like, you get a salad, we'll split it and then we'll get the pizza. No, no. That salad was good that I had to end up ordering mine as well. Now, all jokes aside, this place can get a little packed and crowded, and the line was out there. Now, in order to get this pizza, not only was it a line to really kind of get in here, but it took about 40 to 45 minutes to get the pizza. And that's understandable seeing how deep dish this pizza is you know all the things need to be cooked in the center uh, just to give that nice cheese pull before you take that bite this was late at night and one of our last stops when we first got to Chicago now there's over 40 something locations within Illinois but this is particularly the one down at Navy Pier all right so let's get into the main dish here <laughs> Now, this pizza that we got was a small. Now, if you had a table of like six or eight, I think their large would be great, but it was just me and my wife. And we got a small because we saw the people next to us get a small. Cause you know, you don't know if you've never been there and you're thinking, oh yeah, let me just get a medium two topping pizza or whatever, you're gonna be good. That medium would have been so much for us. And this small was definitely enough for the two of us. Now, for us to have never been here before, like I said, you just get whatever's good on the menu. So we got the first thing up, which was a 12 inch special deep dish. It came with sausage, mushrooms, green peppers, and onions. And again, this was their small, but it was definitely fulfilling. The sauce was tangy. The amount of vegetables and sausage that they had inside was great. Now I'll be honest, this was the end of the night, so I'm not gonna give this place a 10 because I felt like they were rushing to try to get the service out. So parts of the pizza were still kind of cold and there were a couple of slices that we didn't eat. But when we first cut into it in our first two pieces, they were really great and it gave me a sense and feel of what deep dish pizza is like, especially in Chicago. So I think one day, since now that they ship, I'm gonna probably order one and get one shipped to the house and try it for something good Sunday as well. All in all, it's a good pizza place for you to stop at and try if you're in Chicago. They have the menus on a QR code, so. Guys, it is so cool in here. Literally cool. Um, it looks like a common area almost, but it's fun. It seems a little bit, um, I want to say for kids slash adults, you know, kid at heart, but it's, it's different. Say. So they got the chicken, fried chicken fingers, basically, french fries, but they got all sorts of, Drinks. They got bogus teas, drinks, coffee. Yes. This right here. Thank you. Thank and you. And when I tell you, 
every drink you can think of, the boba tea, the green tea, the jasmine tea. He ordered a donut with salted caramel. Right? Okay, I'm telling you, this is like the business, okay? But literally everything here looks comical, all right? You have your black and white going on, but it's a different vibe, you know what I'm saying? Um, but totally, totally cool environment. Definitely had to come check this place out while you're here. This is the 2D restaurant in Chicago. I got an iced Vietnamese coffee in one of the mugs. There it is. So it's in this mug here. All right, so another run of the mill on our next destination, the 2D Restaurant or the 2D Cafe. Uh, they are one of Chicago's best crafted restaurants out there. Um, this place is really unique, as you can see. They kind of have like Asian delicacies, Taiwanese fried chicken sandwiches, Japanese mochi donuts, Vietnamese coffee, and all sorts of little things. They they do different donuts based on the season, the time. It's really good, and their drinks are really good. They have all these different specialty drinks as well, as you saw that my wife got, and the Vietnamese coffee was really good. I actually bought that mug that I'm holding right there. Well. Uh, a fresher one but I didn't get that mug and brought that home as well it was very nice now this particular restaurant was located north a little bit up where that beach in the Chicago Cubs Stadium was but it was great it's another restaurant that you had to reserve your spot for because it was just a line of people to get there and we got there early kind of like a brunch style I should say and one of the things that was really great is they had an outside sitting area which was decked out just as the inside so they live up to this 2d cafe the donuts were good the little light salad was pretty good the drinks were amazing and it was a good spot when you come here So inside the London house, there is Ocean Prime. Another spot in delicacy within Chicago that we about to get down with. Y'all know we like seafood, we like steak, so why not combine them both? Let's see what this place has to offer. Now this is one of your more fancier restaurants as it is connected into the London house. So, you know, you probably could find these same specialties other places. Um, it may pay a little bit less, but you cannot beat the atmosphere and the location of it. The location is great. It's actually like, I don't know, maybe a five minute walk if that from our hotel. some East Coast Canadian oysters. Look at that. We just had a waiter take our picture. And he was taking on big. <laughs> so, you know, we're sitting there and like after five seconds, you're like, oh, well, is there a picture? Then you start laughing because you realize how long he's taking and he's taking those pictures too. So, you know, these people are very attentive here. <laughs> now the appetizers in this place are being stacked at this table. We just kind of got everything that we wanted to get. So we got Northern Canada, Canada oysters, a crab cake, calamari, and some black truffle caviar deviled eggs. So the main course has arrived and it is looking delish. I actually ordered two different meals and the lady was like, I can spit it for y'all, that's what y'all wanna do. And they put two lamb chops on one plate and one lobster tail on another. 
service for you has been really good here. So they cook these these Colorado lamb chops really well. Like I got it like a medium plus and they did it right. Like it's juicy, it's not dry. My wife is able to eat it because you know she ain't gonna do nothing too red anyway. It's good. Now as you can see, I cleaned my plate. And of course, it was our anniversary, so we had to do it right. They gave us a nice free dessert, which was really good. You normally get that in these restaurants, so, you know, 10 out of 10 for that as well. But the food was amazing. It was seasoned well, presentation was good, and we just enjoyed Ocean Prime. Starbucks is five friends. Hopefully we can see what this outdoor terrace looks like. It is five. They have an outdoor terrace. Get ready to check out. Okay. Yes, you heard right five floors and this outdoor terrace area has a few lounging chairs and seats and little sectionals for people to sit out once they have their coffee and food and you can kind of look over the building and over the little city area where you are it's actually really nice and i could see when the weather is great in chicago like it is like that's a good spot to be at it was very empty up there but it's a good spot So the cool part about this Starbucks is it's a bakery, it's a cocktail bar, it's a coffee brewery. Uh, I mean, you get everything that you want here in a nice actual outdoor terrace. So we're gonna try to stand in line and get some of these pastries. You can get your workout on all these steps they have. Five <laughs> floors. They do have an elevator, but we just took these steps instead. So yeah, we can go down one more. Down one more. So I would say that this is probably the biggest Starbucks in America, but it's also the coolest. I see a lot of people look like you can have like a little date night with their cocktail lounges. Can I get it to go? So we are at the Starbucks Roastery. It is one of the largest Starbucks in America. My wife is somewhere around videotaping everything because it's five floors which includes an outdoor terrace. And we were out on there, but I think I'm gonna come inside and eat. We ordered two of their specialty drinks from here and two breakfast items. I just had to stop here since it's in Chicago. It is not only nice, it's amazing. The environment, the different roasteries, the cocktail bar upstairs. It's, it's a lot going on in this Starbucks, a lot. But they got it running very efficient. There was a line out of this world to get in here. And then there's a line on each floor for certain things. You have like floor two, you have like pastries, 
floor three has food and other coffee items. You can order coffee on each one, and then they have uh, a cocktail bar on the fourth floor that they use a lot of coffee infused beans to make a lot of their drinks. It's been really good, and we got some good footage in here. And this is just a place that you can come here early in the morning and hang out for a while. You can make this a stop because this is an actual experience. Hey, I want to see a view. Um, this is just a plate, so I just need to come on here. <laughs> now normally I would show the menus of the places that we go to but the menu for this place is insane I mean it is a menu for each floor so yeah I'm just going to throw this right here and if you want to feel free I'll have the link down in the description for you to click to the actual website and get to their menu All right, and that's a, a little bit of the Chicago Roastery Reserve. Uh, this Starbucks is definitely an experience if you're coming to Chicago. I think there's one in Seattle as well, but it is worth the stop even if you're not a Starbucks fan. Like, you can't go wrong. I mean, there's something in there for everyone, whether it's food, coffee, drinks, atmosphere. They got it all in this place, so make sure you come out and join the experience. It's a good one. And also, if you are still rocking with us right now, make sure you smash that like button and share this video with others. Get our content continuing in rotation with other viewers that may not have seen our channel. Thank y'all. So we are at the oldest restaurant in Chicago, the Burghoff, German food. I am about to be in love with this. You can't love them more than you love me. Definitely not going to love them more than you. But we hadn't had German food since like 2013, 2014 or so. So this is about to be good. And this brings us to our last adventure in Chicago. Literally, like, it was the last food we had before we went back to the hotel and went to sleep and left the next day. But as you can see, we are at the Berghoff. And yes, I did say it is the oldest restaurant in town. So we had to come and check this place out. The menu was extensive. It wasn't too pricey and it was good. Like I said, I am a fan of the German potatoes, the red cabbage sausage, um, you know, and, and, and all of those things, including the various, various amounts of schnitzels and beers that they do. I'm just hands down a fan. Now to start off, we had some stuffed mushrooms that came with an arugula salad and some various different types of breads. Um, Honestly, it was really good. I really just wanted the stuffed mushrooms because it had a spinach and a four type of cheese inside. It was good. Like, I, I love mushrooms as well. But this bread was interesting how it came. And uh, it was very, like, cracker material. And then it just got thicker depending on the pieces of bread that you grabbed out of the basket. So, that was good for our appetizer dinner start. And I had a good dark German beer. Now our main courses, my wife went the, tr went the traditional 
three sausage plate the chicken the beef and the veal and then she had some fingerling potatoes and of course sauerkraut i had an open face chicken cordon bleu plate with roasted carrots and asparagus and potatoes and then a side of red cabbage all in which i enjoyed my wife really liked hers she had a little bit of mine i had a little bit of hers and it was hands down decent so anyway that is our taste of chicago i really hope y'all enjoyed this something good sunday with these specialties remember if you ever stop out of chicago give our video a shot again and make sure you find these places within town until the next one i'll see y'all soon